Few athletes on our MT Top 40 can boast successful eight-year NFL playing careers, but even fewer can do so after switching positions from college to the National Football League. The number one linebacker on our list, start on the defensive line and then move to that linebacker position, starting for the New York Football Giants. He, of course, recently made headlines all across the country after declining an invite to the Montana Football Hall of Fame, believing he has CTE. But there's no denying his greatness on the gridiron. Number one is Bozeman's Corey Widmer. He was a defensive tackle, inside guy, and um, he, he was very intelligent. And he's still obviously an intelligent young man. But um, that, and, and he had a lot of athleticism for a guy his size. And I, I you know, remember watching him in high school because he and, and uh, Shane Collins played together for the Bozeman Hawks. And, and di they didn't have a very good season uh, when, they, when they played together. It's an interesting situation there, but both of them went on to be, uh, have great college careers. And of course, Shane, I think, won the uh, Pac-12 or Pac-10 at that time, shot put as well, I think. Uh, for Arizona State. Widmer was a Bozeman graduate in the late 1980s and became a dominant player at Montana State, where he was a star on the defensive line up until 1991. How about a three-time all-conference selection, two-time All-American, and he was your Big Sky Conference defensive MVP in 1990. Throughout his career, Widmer recorded 66 tackles for loss. That set the MSU all-time record, and his 25 tackles for loss during the 1990 season are the second most by a Bobcat in one single season. 20 in 1991, that ranks sixth. Widmer also had 35 career sacks. That's fourth best in Montana State history, and his six forced fumbles are eighth in the Bobcats program. Corey, I think he was two-time defensive MVP of the league for the Big Sky, if I'm, I know once for sure, maybe twice. And uh, he was a dominating guy too. I mean, he, he, he was a tough guy to block and, and created all kinds of uh, havoc, you know, across the line. Um, but I know that uh, he's, he's a very intelligent player and studied film and, and, you know, I think he questioned coaches, you know, about doing this and doing that and just was really in, into to being a good football player. And, and you have to go, beyond that just getting coached to be a good football player. Yeah, Corey was a great player, um, you know, played more. He was more of a defensive lineman, DN type of kid at, at Montana State. But, you know, how well he played, uh, you know, his last couple of years at Montana State and then obviously uh, in the NFL, you know, he, he, he was a real, a real special player too. The New York Giants selected Widmer in the seventh round of the 92 draft, and he spent eight years playing middle linebacker. That transition from the D-line, he became a full-time starter for the Giants in 96, and it was a career breakout year. 68 tackles, 35 of those were assisted, but he also had two sacks, two forced fumbles, and two interceptions. It was a little bit of a surprise for me. I mean, I knew he's a good football player, and, and it proved that week in and week out in the big sky, but... Um, but for him to move to get to a position where he's playing inside, you know, uh, as a linebacker, in a stand-up position to to move around like that, um, he he really developed after he left here. Even followed that up with another solid season, and the Giants reportedly were rewarding him with a four-year, twelve million dollar contract. He played two more seasons as the Giants starter, but was waived after the 1999 season. All in all, Widmer appeared in 114 NFL games started 64 of those and had 271 tackles to go along with 113 more assisted tackles. He also had seven and a half career sacks and four interceptions. When he went to the NFL, he got on his feet. You know, he played more, more on his feet and, and not, a, not in a, you know, a three-point stance, but a uh, very successful career there. But um, yeah, I just, think, I just think he had good instincts too and he had good quickness for a guy his size, but yeah, you're right, he wasn't that big. Uh, and for as a, you know, you see some of those defensive tackles and stuff today and defensive linemen. I mean, their hind ends are about this wide and uh, Corey was always a slim type guy, but um, he was pretty thick too. Widmer was inducted into the Montana State Hall of Fame in 2002, but recently declined that invite to the Montana Football Hall of Fame, indicating that he believed he had CTE. He told the Bozeman Daily Chronicle he'd never want to give somebody the impression football is safe and that injuries are short term. They're not. I'm proof of that. Corey Widmer, the number one linebacker in Montana's history. Five up, five down. The top five linebackers in the MT Top 40 going all the way back 
to the playing days of Corey Widmer, the number one linebacker to hail from the Treasure State. Your honorable mentions are also a who's who. You could have plugged any of these guys in there. We talked about another CMR athlete. That, of course, John Knutson. Sean Bloomquist, the great star at Carroll College. He was a defensive player of the year, and some of these other guys had impressive, impressive careers during their time on the football field as well. Read more about every one of them at montanasports.com. Tune in again next week. We're switching from defense to the offensive line. Richie Melby, MTN Sports.